Hi guys, this is Nicole with Intimate Wisdom. So let's go ahead and see what we have for today, Tuesday, November the 21st, 2017. And for those of you that follow my channel, you know it is $2 Tuesday. So make sure you hop up on that deal. You get one question for $2, guys. For $2, guys. All payments are made through PayPal, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and get this reading started. Whoa. This is for November the 21st, 2017. What messages, what energy are we bringing to today? We got the King of Pentacles. This is about confidence, okay? So this is my second second read. It's the first read I didn't really pull. Um, and it spoke about confidence as well. So maybe some of us are lacking some confidence. Is it, and there's a need for us to actually have confidence within ourselves, confidently accept the opportunities that we're offered. Because right now we're in a successful time, in a very... And a time where we can really manifest what we desire. We pulled the King of Pentacles. So let's go ahead and read what we got in the Angel Tarot Card God Book by Miss Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine. Artwork by Stephen A. Roberts. Let's see what we got for King of Pentacles. Whoa. All right. It says, in a situation, it says, this is a success, successful time. Your current projects will go well. You may be promoted or offered a high salary. Your talents and skills will bring rewards for you and others. Accept the opportunities offered to you and have confidence that you'll succeed. This is people, a person, this is you. This is someone with outstanding business skills who is good with money and can provide excellent advice. A person who has been successful in a career and now enjoys the finer things in life. Professional, generous, responsible, practical, competent. Now, this could also be you being giving, being generous, um, doing charitable things. Um, this can be you helping out people, being responsible, handling your responsibilities, being practical with money. This could represent you being professional, um, being a boss, going to work, being a supervisor, whatever it is that you do, this is you putting your best foot forward, showing your confidence and accepting the opportunities that are coming to you with that same confidence, okay? Don't give up. Make sure you believe in yourself. So let's go ahead and pull from the Goddess Goddess Oracle deck so we can see what messages from Spirit we have today. What messages do we have today? November the 21st, 2017. All right, we got sacred space. It says, create an altar or visit a powerful place to connect with the divine. And we also put undying love. It says, the love you have shared is eternal, regardless of the situation. So let's go ahead and read from the Goddess Goddess Oracle card deck by Doreen Virtue so we can see what these two mean. Okay, for sacred space, it says, you, your sacred space is within you now. By creating an altar or visiting a sacred site, you connect with the symbols and energy that have been infused with meanings and prayers over the centuries. Don't take these symbols lightly, for they're powerful indeed. When you connect with a sacred symbol, you help, you help your inner sanctity find a home in the outer world. You also tap into ancient wisdom and spiritual grace of the old ways. Explore spirituality through sacred symbols and sights and allow, allow your soul to joyfully me meander among the various ways available to you to unite with the divine it's not a matter of how you connect but that you do so frequently various meanings of this card build an altar in your home take a spiritually oriented trip you need a quiet place of refuge and retreat for yourself create a medicine circle or a labyrinth walk the labyrinth Clear the energy. I remember that movie. I remember that movie. <laughs> Clear the energy in your home with sage, prayer, toning, invoking Archangel Michael, and other space clearing methods. All right. So, with this being said, this could be you needing to find your grounding, connect with your higher self, follow your intuition in regards to something, especially finding your grounding. With this King of Pentacles, this could be you finally finding your grounding, and maybe there's a need for you to actually connect so that you can have that guidance that you need to follow in your path. This also speaks about um, creating altars. Um, this could be going to church for those of you that go to church. This is like giving praises and, and being thankful for what you have, being thankful and um, actually connecting with source, connecting with the divine. It's not that hard, guys. I have an altar in my house, and it's, I mean, you just need a table. You need a table, get you a goblet, um, get you a mortar, not a mortar, uh, um, I forgot what you call it, one of these. One of these. I got two of them when I'm saving here. But one of those as well. Um, just 
and you can have some pictures of your ancestors or, or nothing at all, just some place that you have specifically for you. A table set up, make sure you have candles, make sure you have all your elements on there. Air, water, fire, and wind. I mean, air, water, fire, and earth. <laughs> but make sure you have all your elements on there. You know what I'm saying? And this is just a place for you to connect with the divine, a place for you to pray. That's what I do. I pray. I go there every morning and I pray. Okay? This is also, we're talking about undying love. So let's see what we got for undying love. It says, when it comes to matters of the heart, your help is here. It's all around you and also inside you. Your inner wisdom may seem quieted by any pain that you feel. Yet, be assured that the healing you're undergoing is swift and efficient, and, you're true, and you truly are healing from the inside out. First, your heart must heal from its grief, loneliness, and any feelings of betrayal. This can take some time, so be patient with yourself. Treat yourself as you would any ailing person, with caution, gentleness, and tenderness. Next, get yourself out of the world, not in a harsh fashion, but with an out into the park, out into the world. <laughs> And out into the parks, forests, and, and such, which are essential to lighting, lightening your outlook. Nature is a great healer. You see, nature is the great healer. You see, that's why I'm frequently amidst the flowers and the trees. Although they may seem quiet on the outside, they're quite talkative when you breathe and simply ingest their magical tones of conversation. Spend time among the forests and the trees, as well as the plants and the animals, and you'll regain your foothold upon this planet. You'll revive your sense of spirit and your desire to tread among the living once again. I promise you that your heart will mend and that you will also help others in this fashion along the way. Various meanings of this card. Love your romantic partner. Love from your romantic partner is eternal, regardless of the outward appearances. You're healing from a breakup. You're healing from some other type of loss. Let go of an old relationship to make room for a new one. The love that you send into the world is an important part of your divine purpose. Your deceased loved one is happy and sends you love. So this is definitely um for those of you. Some of us are. I can't say some of us because I already have this in my house. But some of you are needing to create some type of altar for your ancestors. Some of your ancestors are wanting to connect with you. This is um, like messages from the other side. So someone wants to connect. Someone wants to let you know they're all right and they love you. All right. It happens. Okay. So let's go ahead and pull from the Romance Angels Oracle card so we can see what energy of love, what energy and love we're bringing today. What energy and love will we bring today? November the 21st. We got new love. Mm, well, that's good. Let's see what we got for new love. It says a new person is stirring your romantic feelings. It says the romance angels have sent you this card like a Valentine greeting, signaling, signaling the introduction of someone new into your love life. Perhaps you recently met this person and your interest was piqued. This card validates that your connection was mutual and real. It is safe for you to explore it, and the romance angels will guide your actions accordingly. Of course, if you're already in a committed relationship, you'll want to consult your angels or perhaps a counselor or other trusted person to get insight into your feelings. While running into the arms of a suitor may sound passionate, the reality of guilt over the affair will soon weigh heavily on you. It's better to confront the issues within your present relationship that left, you emotion, that left your emotional doors open for someone else. This car can also mean that you'll meet, soon meet a new person. In, this, in these cases, the romance angels are asking you to keep your faith that love is in your cards. You deserve love and you are lovable. The angels guide you to be aware as you never, knew when you, as you never know when your partner will arrive. So, there may be new love in the works for some of you guys. Hopefully, me too, because I ain't got nobody. <laughs> but there may be new love in the works for some of you guys. For those of you that have a love, this could just be your um, relationship, you know, finding the spark again, getting the spark. So, it's getting to that time of the reading, guys. Go ahead and think of a question. We're going to pull from these psychic tarot cards. Today is November the 21st, 2017. Ooh, we had this yesterday, guys. So this is definitely a message. There's movement, choices, and decisions that need to be made. Let's go ahead and read it again. Sang the right book. Oh, this was by Miss Doreen Virtue as well. We're reading from the Psychic Tarot deck by John Holland. Oh, hey, John Holland. He's attractive. <laughs> All right, so let's see what we got.
it says, this card indicates a time of movement. Significant changes and choice must be and choices must be made. With hard work, great effort, and determination, you have the ability to juggle all the demands that are in front of you. Whether they concern money, business decisions, or other projects, it's important to stay flexible and focused. You don't have to do it alone. Reach out for the best advice and assistance. In addition, a financial union or partnership may present itself to you. The more time you take to make these vital decisions and choices, the longer it will be before you can move toward your goals in the physical material world. The changes that are emerging aren't random acts or coincidences. They're all a part of the positive and larger scheme. Notice the connections with everything, as this will enable you to avoid future problems and conflicts. All right, guys. So this is about making choices, moving in your path, confidently accepting the opportunities that you're faced. And I think what's going on, the reason why we got this twice, there may be some mental conflict about what this, if whether or not the decision that you're making is correct or not. It is telling you that whatever this decision is, it is correct. It's time for you to make this decision and it's time for you to move past this situation. So that's all I got for today, guys. I don't know why I can't talk today. It's driving me crazy. Um, this is all I got for today, guys. November the 21st, 2017. It is $2 Tuesday. So make sure you get your um, you request your $2 read. When you guys pay through PayPal, make sure you send me an email and put $2 Tuesday in the description so I know that you um, pay for a reading. Because if you don't, I don't know. Because I get a lot going on on PayPal. I don't. I would have to go search and see if there's anything new. So I would really need you to send me an email and let me know if you paid for a reading with me. Any reading. It doesn't have to be just that. Any reading. Make sure that you send me an email and let me know that you paid. Other than that, that's all I got. If you guys would like to donate to my channel, you can do so through PayPal as well. Please hit that subscribe button. Follow me on all my other social media accounts. Um, another daily read next week. Um, and it's the end of the video. We're going to see who watched it to the end. If you can tell me what my Zodiac sign is, you'll get a free read. And if you watch my videos, you know. All right. That's all I got. Have a good night.